I think the advice that I would give anyone looking to work in film or as a production designer is to be really honest about what you love. I always tell people that they really need to love it. Know thyself. Figure out who you are, what motivates you, what interests you. Learn a, a skill set that they could use to find employment in an art department. That's just basic. Um, whether it's drawing, whether it's illustrating. <laughs> Learn to draw learn to express themselves, you know, verbally and, and express themselves on paper. Television series is a really good experience to have because it really, often it'll teach someone how to think on their feet. Learning as much as you possibly can in higher education and then you can master painting, you can master architectural drawing on the side if you want to and then have a good skill to come into the uh, discipline with so that you can at least get a job and observe production designers at work. The most important thing is to get sort of as broad an education as you can. Get a really well-rounded education early so that you know a lot about a lot of things. I actually like the idea for a production designer that they have a university education and that they've studied you know, art, architecture, uh, but also literature and... The history of art, the history of design, the history of interior design, the history of architecture, the history of sculpture. I mean, you should know Carl Jung, you should know Joseph Campbell, you should know architectural history, you should know contemporary architecture, you should know furniture design. Theater and drama in English. How to draw, how to read, how to read a picture. Just you should know, you should, you know, it, it's never ending. It's each show is like this incredible research project where we're trying to become experts as fast as we can. These things require just a real intimate knowledge of all sorts of things. You know? Go have adventures, go travel the world, go be curious about everything about art and architecture and cultural anthropology and don't lose the curiosity. Travel, look at the choices people make in their lives. Keep honing your skills but keep experiencing life and the world and somewhere along the way you'll discover if uh, you want to be a production designer or not because I think you wind up there because ultimately it's the place you're supposed to go. It's a difficult career. It uh, takes a lot of stamina. I have the patience to do thorough research. Ability to change takes a lot of out of you in terms of schedule. You have to enjoy very long hours. Because of the nature of the work, being on the road a lot. Ability to work well with a lot of people. Be totally collaborative. You need to be able to be creative and you need to be able to be organized. You have to be creative, but you have to be great with money. Not fearful of making choices. To listen before you jump to a conclusion and just barge right ahead and uh, do something. Understand the project as a whole, but not to try to think about it all at once because the amount of things that you're responsible for on a film are, uh, can be quite overwhelming if you try to um, indulge all of it at one time. Disaster strikes daily, kind of, you know, and you kind of, well, as you get more and more mature and more experienced, you can figure out how to work yourself around that. It's very important to understand what the camera sees. And I think that means you really have to have a good understanding of camera and lens work. And it's very important to understand that the camera is not the same as your eye, and you have to simplify things in a way that you can interpret them. I always felt that I had to uh, pick my path and go towards it, and that's not at all how it happened. My path evolved as I did, um, and I never could have guessed uh, that I would be a production designer.